Good evening, everybody. Well, the bell currently rings blue. Pueblo Centennial will try and change that fact when the Bulldogs play the Wildcats in the 72nd edition of the bell game. Danny Mata has more on Bell Week. The bell belongs to Pueblo Central, but only until Friday. They'll have to beat Centennial for the second straight year to keep it. After the season was nearly lost, this game means that much more to the players who almost lost their entire season. I've dreamed of this moment, and it's finally here. And it's a little different, but I'm still so excited to be able to participate in it. It's probably one of the biggest rivalries I've ever played in. Yeah. And it's a lot of spirit towards you. It just makes you, when you win or when you lose, you really feel the impact. Things may be weird right now, but some things stay the same. Take the Central players. They really don't like the color red. Especially for Centennial, I really hate Centennial. So red is definitely not something I like. <laughs> some of the Central kids don't even like Bulldogs. And I don't mean the mascot, I mean actual Bulldogs. If it's a Bulldog, I'll, I'll pet it, but I don't like it. <laughs> both teams appreciate this rivalry and they're both jacked to play on Friday night. But if anything is going to be different, it's going to be the atmosphere. Thanks in part to the coronavirus. The crowd not being there this year, it's going to have a big impact on how the game turns out because without those people, it's it's not like it has been for the last several years. But that doesn't mean the game isn't still a huge deal. I think it's a good feeling knowing that you were a part of something that big, um, that your name is like along the list of a bunch of others that played in something like that. It's definitely a good feeling to know that you were just could contribute to something of that caliber. I think just being given the opportunity to play football, I think we're all even a little more excited this year for this bell. I mean, I know it won't be the same, probably won't have the same atmosphere there, but Definitely, I think we're all going to be ready to play. In Pueblo, Danny Mata, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports. All right, thank you.